My name is Shadia. I graduated from high school in 2018. I found out I was autistic um, at eight years of age. My name is Thomas. I'm 17 years old. I'm in year 11 and I found out I was autistic at age 10. Some of the positives I feel about having autism is seeing the beauty in small details. So often we're very focused on details and we can pick up on things that other people might not. Um, and even just appreciate small things like um, sometimes I'd go out in nature and just notice a, a bee pollinating a flower and go, wow, that's amazing. One of the best strengths of having autism is being able to focus on something that I really, really enjoy and easily find things I enjoy. So once I find something I'm really passionate about, I'm knowledgeable on the topic and I can always talk about it. So I always have a conversation piece. While I'm really focused on things I enjoy, the other side of it is that things that I don't enjoy, I have an extremely hard time focusing on. Some of the things that helped me in my subjects with the learning was having accompanying visual prompts. So I really struggle with auditory processing issues. So having teachers talk at me for the whole lesson, just verbally is really challenging for me. Um, it's a bit like when you watch a video and it buffers and it continues to try and catch up. That's kind of how my auditory processing works. Using sensory supports was in the classroom was really powerful. So I'd have noise cancelling headphones. I might have um, sunglasses or tinted lenses to deal with the light sensitivity, particularly in classes where they have sort of fluorescent harsh light. I actually have a cap that I wear. I'm one of the only people in my school who's allowed to wear it. It helps block out the lights, which helps me not have a sensory overload. Another thing that I do whenever I can is listen to music. It helps me focus in on what I'm doing, even if I don't like it. I definitely think having a support network is vital. I mean, for so many of us, schools really challenging. You think about our sensory issues, our anxiety. So for a lot of us, even just attending school can be a big accomplishment. So I think if we have a support network in place of friends that we can check in with, um, teachers that understand our neurology and are able to provide further guidance, I've found really helpful. My main advice for kids who've just found out they have autism or are still going through high school is try new things. Keep searching for that thing that you really want to do, something that you really enjoy. And if you already know what that is, look for something in careers that has that element that you enjoy doing. If you can find that job, shoot for the moon. And if you miss, hey, you'll be among the stars. I think too, it's something that's not wrong or disordered. Um, autism is a difference and it has its own set of challenges and strengths, but it's just that a difference. And I think if we were all the same, it'd be a pretty boring world. <laughs> <laughs>